The Balfour Declaration was signed on the 2nd of November 1917 and pledged for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. It was a letter from British Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour to Zionist advocate Lord Rothschild. Sixty-seven words of the letter changed Palestinian land from this to this. Today, this is what the former British Mandate of Palestine looks like. A growing number of Jews are returning to Israel. It's part of a fulfillment of prophecy spoken in the Bible. Reporter Charlene Aaron recently spoke with the head of one organization on the front lines of helping the Jewish people make their way home. Earlier this year, immigrants from North America landed at Tel Aviv's Ben Gurion International Airport to make Israel their home. Seeing Jewish people return to Israel is literally watching Bible prophecy unfold. You should know, it's, we feel very shame what's going on there, especially they're doing everything in our name, in the name of Jews, in the name of the Torah, in the name of God. It's so shameful. We are with you. You have to know. The Zionists are strong, we are weak, but God is on our side. At the end of the day, the Palestinian flag will be on all Palestine, from the river to the sea. The fact on the ground is Judaism is subservience to God. Zionism is a transformation to a base nationalism. It is totally contradictory. It is antithetical to this Jude to our Judaism. The fact is, no matter what the Zionists or all they're going to come with their uh, intimidation or their whatever explanation, the fact is Judaism is, does not accept Zionism. It cannot accept Zionism. In every aspect of Zionism, it's contradictory. It is based on blasphemy. Secondly, in its actions, it's, it's, it's totally, it's criminal. You're not allowed to kill or steal. They, when, if, in its um, essence, we're not allowed to have a state. But on top of that, being that they came to Palestine, they created the state by driving the Palestinians from the land. Yes, they started at the beginning buying land because the Arabs and Muslims knew that the Jews, under, they just want to buy a piece of land. They didn't believe in their, in, in the, in the, in the furthest thought that, that, that it could be that they want to make, aspire to create their own land. But so they, then we is what they're doing, that they want to make their own state, so they stop selling. So then the Zionists came with Der Yassin, Rabbi Beck told me, and those other rabbis, they cringed when they spoke about Der Yassin, how friendly the Arab and Muslims were, and beyond words, when the, the Zionists came in and, and murdered them, how, you know, how as a Jew, how we felt. So the Jews around, so the, the, as a Jew, we cannot accept the murder and the killing and the oppression and the, and the, all the other, the subjugation, the everything that's what the Zionists are doing mentally and physically, how every person is, is maimed. Every, if there's not a, a family that doesn't have a member some ways that was not murdered. This is against our Torah. The state of Israel does not represent all Jews and certainly does not represent the Jewish religion. According to Jewish religion, all of this is criminal. All of this is forbidden. Basics of Jewish belief teaches that Jews are in, in a divinely de decreed exile. We are even forbidden to create a sovereignty for ourselves. But especially when this is by killing, stealing, oppressing an entire people. This is not only criminal according to international law. This is a true violation of Judaism. Which town is it? The answer is now very well known. It's Jerusalem. So when you see the Jews being brought back, we're talking now about the Israelite Jews, not the European Jews. When you see the Israelite Jews being brought back to the Holy Land from Yemen, from Iraq, 
from Syria, from Egypt, from Morocco, all over the world, where they were spread out. Anahum fil umam. And you see them being brought back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. And you see a state of Israel being restored in the Holy Land. And you see that state of Israel rising to become a ruling state in the world. Then you must know it's Gog and Magog.